Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Carol. I am the founder of Lift to Rise, where it's my goal to empower others to take charge of their health and unleash the healthy, happy, vibrant being that's inside each and every one of us. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm making my very best barbecue sauce. Who doesn't love a good barbecue sauce? Well, mine is the best because it doesn't have any simple sugars in it. It doesn't have any artificial ingredients. It doesn't have any high fructose corn syrup in it and no preservatives. It's made with all whole food ingredients, of course. So let's get started. I have half an onion in my saucepan here and it's just, I'm just simmering it down with some water. I have a half a cup of water in here. I'm going to put one third of a cup of apple cider vinegar in there also. That's gonna give it that tang. I have a quarter cup of raisins. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. And I'm going to put one can of diced tomatoes, organic diced tomatoes. You could use fire roasted if you had it. That would be amazing. I couldn't find any. I'm also going to put one can of tomato paste. This gives it a real richness and depth of flavor. But tomato paste needs to cook down a bit. It can be kind of um, acidic right out of the can. Same with diced tomatoes. It's really good if you cook it down a bit, which is what I'm going to do. And then also the, the apple cider vinegar mellows out a little bit as you cook it. Okay. So that is the full six ounce can of tomato paste. Just give that a quick stir. This smells amazing already. Barbecue sauce is one of my favorite condiments. I like it on everything. It's good on uh, baked potatoes. It's good on pizza. I can't think of anything that doesn't taste better with barbecue sauce on it. I'm also gonna put a tablespoon of garlic in here. Let's do that first. I buy the pre-minced garlic because I'm lazy and I hate chopping garlic. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. This, I use this instead of like a, a Worcestershire sauce. You can buy a vegan Worcestershire if you can find it. It's kind of expensive, I don't really, I don't usually buy it. I'm also gonna put in just a half a teaspoon of liquid smoke. This gives it like a little smoky flavor and mine is hickory, but they sell all different kinds of liquid smoke at the store. I also found this at Walmart, chipotle chili pepper powder. So I tried it, it's very spicy. You can use regular chili powder. I would use maybe two teaspoons. I'm just gonna use a half a teaspoon, a heaping half a teaspoon of this chipotle powder. It's got like a smoky sweet flavor, but it is spicy. A teaspoon of paprika. You can use smoked paprika if you have it. And then a teaspoon of salt. I'm just using pink Himalayan salt. That's what I always use. And some fresh ground pepper. Okay, and now our ingredient of honor is blackstrap molasses. I'm putting a quarter cup of blackstrap molasses in there. And this is in place of all that high fructose corn syrup and the yucky um, sugars that are not good for you that they put in the, the barbecue sauce that you buy at the store. Blackstrap molasses is an amazing ingredient. It actually delays the rise of blood sugar, unlike refined sugar. It's made from the third boiling of, of um, sugar cane. It's loaded with antioxidants and minerals. It's really high in iron and potassium. It's really good. It actually lowers your blood pressure with all the potassium in there. It's a great source of iron for, for women who are of childbearing age. Sometimes we need a little extra iron and blackstrap molasses is an excellent source. I also use raisins instead of refined sugar because they they come with the fiber and the minerals and the antioxidants from the whole fruit, but they're just, the water is removed, they're just dry. So raisins are really good for your digestion. They have a lot of minerals and they're super sweet. They're high in sugar and calories, but you only use a little bit of it. And with that fiber, it kind of delays your rise in blood sugar. Okay, this is boiling down nicely. I'm gonna reduce it to a simmer and just let it cook a little bit more. I don't know if you can see, it's very thick and bubbly and it smells amazing. I'm just gonna cover this and simmer it on low for maybe 10 minutes until it kind of condenses and in, um, thickens up a little bit. And then I'm gonna put it in my Vitamix and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. 
Okay, barbecue sauce is all done. It smells amazing in here and it tastes amazing. I've already had some. It's sweet and spicy and thick and rich. It's gonna be good on everything. I can't wait to make some barbecue tofu, my famous barbecue lentil burgers. I actually made a recipe video for that last week, but it got deleted before I could post it. So I can't wait to make those again. I'm gonna make those right now so I can, um, the, I actually dip the lentil burgers in the barbecue sauce and broil them in the oven. It's so good. So I'll link that recipe below. And let me know if you try this barbecue sauce. It's everything I love in a barbecue sauce and everything that I don't love is not in there. So like all the high fructose corn syrup and the preservatives and the sodium, this one is something you can actually feed your whole family and feel amazing about. It's sweetened with natural raisins, so it has all the fiber and the minerals in there that are so good for you. And it tastes delicious. Mmm, yeah. Mmm, sweet, tangy, spicy. I love that chipotle powder. If you can find some of that, you definitely get it. Couldn't believe they had it at Walmart. I've never seen it before. But if not, you could put a little cayenne in there or some red pepper flakes if you like it spicy. I, you know I do. So I hope you guys give this barbecue sauce a try. You saw how easy that was. It took me 10 minutes to make barbecue sauce that I can have for a long time. It makes a lot. And I can put it on everything and I feel good about it. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed another oil-free sauce. And don't forget to subscribe. I have a, um, a free ebook that I'll link down below with five of my favorite oil-free sauces. I think that it's so important to eat the rainbow and get all your veggies in, but it can be hard if you don't have something tasty to pour over top. So I have five of my favorite oil-free sauces, my enchilada sauces in there, which is also amazing. This one is not in there, but you just watch the video so you can go ahead and make it on your own. So go ahead and click the link. The ebook is totally free. It was really fun to make, and there's a link um, every recipe is written out for you and there's a link to the video of each recipe too So I hope you guys enjoy that try them all Let me know what your favorite is and let me know if there's any other dressings or sauces that you want me to make a little bit healthier in the comments below All right, you guys don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time